to it. Leslie, thank you. KHQ MD tonight, and we've all done it. You feel a little sick, you go to work or school anyway. Well, this time of year, though, you'll want to think twice before working when you're sick. There have been at least 90 people who have been hospitalized with the flu in Spokane County alone this flu season, and three adults in eastern Washington have already died. Tonight in our Connect Center, we do have representatives here for you from the Spokane Regional Health District. Well, Chair Mr. Ramsing standing by to talk to them in just a moment. But first, KHQ local news reporter Kelsey Watts is live right now. And Kelsey, a lot of people are especially worried this flu season because the swine flu is already hitting some otherwise healthy people. Hitting them pretty severely too, Steph. In fact, health officials tell me tonight at least one of those three people who have passed away from the flu this season was confirmed to have had H1N1, also known as the swine flu. Tests on the other two are still pending tonight. Now we know a Tri-Cities woman in her 50s passed away of the flu in early December. Then just last week, a man in Grant County and a man in Lincoln County, both in their 40s, died. And H1N1 is the most common common strain going around this season. So right now, hospitals like where we are tonight at Deaconess are being especially careful, asking visitors who do have any cold or flu symptoms to stay home. And today we went inside Deaconess where sanitation stations like this are at every entrance. They're asking you to use hand sanitizer when you come in. And if you do feel sick or have a cough, wear a mask. And inside the ER today, it's been a very busy day, a very busy few weeks, in fact. As you said, Steph, 90 people in Spokane County have now been hospitalized with the flu. That's double from last week, and the season hasn't even peaked yet. And today we met with the mother in Spokane Valley who knows just how bad it can be. When they did run tests on her, the blood tests and everything, you know, it did come up that she had swine flu. And... Um, yeah, I mean, her eyes, the whites in her eyes literally all turned real red. She got really sick. Her temperatures were above 104 degrees. And that was Dory Kappa. Her daughter Alyssa had the swine flu during the pandemic in 2009. She was only five years old at the time, and her fever was so bad, the doctors weren't sure she'd make it. I had to stay home with her literally 24-7 and monitor her, like, you know, every minute. So it was, yeah, it was that bad. It was very scary. You know, every parent's worst fear, you know, of losing their child. And of course, things you can do to protect yourself, get the vaccine, wear a mask if you do have symptoms, and use that hand sanitizer. And now let's send it back inside to Cherson Ramsing in our Connect Center. Super. And hi there, Kelsey. We are inside the Connect Center, and the phones are ringing off the hook. We are with the Spokane Regional Health District. I'm standing next to Mark, and Mark, we just heard from Kelsey's story some of the implications and some of the ramifications from the flu. What is the take-home message you'd like to tell the folks tonight? Well, uh, even with uh, the, the flu activity that that we've seen today, uh, we're still, you know, typically peak our, with our flu season in January and February. And so it's really important that people use this opportunity to, to get vaccinated so that they're protected when, once we get into the, the thick of the flu season. All right, sounds good. Thank you so okay. much, Mark. And right now the phone number is at the bottom of your screen to go ahead and call and they are standing by waiting to answer all of your questions. I'm Cherston Ramsing. We'll send it on over to Dan and Stephanie.